There's all the landscape and all the concrete all the way done. Now we just gotta work on the ugly house. This is the expensive version of what I'm doing. It has kind of interlocking, it's basically just flat metal. Uh, but the metal's good because it won't expand and contract nearly the same as the plastic. But there's still the kind of uh, bows and stuff that you get with the cheap stuff. So I don't know if the cheap stuff's really that bad of an option. This is probably 10 times the cost. This is a house being worked on that has the dark gravel. We chose to do the light gravel on ours, but this gives you a good idea of what your options are. If you go on grayscale, the concrete is basically kind of a mid-tone compared to like a lighter gravel or darker gravel, but it still gives a good contrast whether you're doing the light gravel or the dark. Yes, tree pruners, that's right. This product comes with either metal stakes like this or plastic stakes like, like this or something similar to that. It doesn't matter either way because it's got a round spot in the middle and it's got a, a piece that'll fit that as well. So either one will work. These ones tend to snap though if you get it in ground too hard so that's something worth considering. Okay, it's important that the ground is relatively flat before you start pinning these in. So they have a bunch of these holes you can put them in, but unless you want to spend a fortune on these stupid stakes, probably just do it every couple of feet. If you're lucky, it'll push into the ground. Oh. Oh, got it. I was lucky. If not, you can just tap them in with a hammer. And the gravel's kind of done, sort of. One thing I'm doing is I'm putting this on the gravel side of stuff. Like here I'm having mulch, so I want the heavier thing to be sitting on here so it'll be less prone to move. So that stuff up there was kind of easy because it was just straight dirt, but this is a different problem area. We got an ugly drain pipe, which I don't even know where it goes. We got grass. And we got some sprinklers. So in this next little section, I'm going to dig up the grass, reuse it on some of the bald spots, and I'm going to relocate these sprinklers so they're away outside of this gravel area. Before you get too far into this product, it's important to know that this thing will move. When the sun hits it, it'll expand and the whole thing will wave at you. Doesn't matter how tight you pull that, as soon as the sun hits it, it's gonna do that. So that's a frustrating thing about this particular landscape solution. It's not really a very good solution, to be honest. But the general look, standing back, is pretty decent, even though there are imperfections with it. Tomorrow morning, these waves will be taken out when it shrinks back up again. But be aware of that. You're not gonna get a perfect product with this. Thanks for watching these videos on this landscaping and sidewalk and steps and everything. The next video we're going to be diving into is how we destroyed our upstairs.